when doing expression testing with switch, the expression can be quite sophisticated. You can combine multiple expressions using dash and and dash or. In this case, we have a collection of objects from 1 through 7, all integers of course, and we're comparing them to a value of 4. We have a test that says when the value being tested is greater than our limit, in this case 4, we'll be printing out a diagnostic and stopping. We also have another test that looks at the object and does a, a type test and a second one that compares the object to see if it's equal to the result of getting the system date and pulling out the day of the week property. If both of these are true, if they're and, then we'll print out that our integer was actually today's day of the week. So this is a very dynamic test, even though we're using fixed data. This first test compares to see if the thing we're testing is type integer. If it is, this test will pass. If what's in the variable, the object being tested, is anything other than an integer, this test will fail. Day of week, you may recall from earlier in the course, is actually stored as an integer. So we can compare it to an integer and see whether or not the integer being looked at in the variable is indeed the number for today's day of the week. When we go ahead and run this, I ran this on a Monday. So when it looks at one, it doesn't match the three. It's not greater than the limit. One is type integer, they all are. And when we get the current date and pull out the day of week property, which is for Monday, it has a value of 1. It is equal to the object being tested. So it will print out the object being tested is today's day of the week. And indeed, when I ran it, we can see 1 is today's day of the week. If you do this on a Tuesday, this will match on Tuesday, on a 2. The rest of our tests work just like they did before.